Welcome to Midwest Cyclone Inspections Virtual Seminars. The session you're attending today is using Photosizer. This class assumes you already have the program installed and are using, getting ready to use it the first time. So you've already completed the installation process and are ready to use it the first time, getting your photos from the, your first field set of it, field visits in and getting ready to write them up on the system. Today, we're gonna show you how you take those photos off your computer resize them and then go on the inspector website and try and actually attach them so we're gonna go ahead here um once you have the photo sizer window up the basic idea is pretty simple you're adding a folder off your computer so by default it, this kind of assumes you know what folder you're where you put the picture to start with you probably have a photo folder named something on your computer whether it's random pictures or mti pics whatever however you organize your workload I'm going to go ahead and hit add folder now. And I have a bunch of titles in here of folders on my computer. Um, I'm going to choose the option for field pics. Okay, field photos. So when I took the, the photos off the camera, I put them in my field pictures folder. I hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and you know, add all those photos that are in that folder to the this photo sizer program I'm gonna kind of like a holding file waiting for me to tell it what to do next. Okay. Um, so here's gonna be your pretty much how to here. The next step you're gonna be basically doing is real simple. You're just going to tell it where you wanna put the photos when you're done. Okay. So what folder do you wanna put them in when you're done? So you hit the drop this little file folder icon here. I have a folder in here that I named differently, resized pictures. So I'm taking my original photos from the field pictures photo folder, resizing those images and dumping them in the resized pictures folder, just with a click of a button. So I'm taking them from field pics, putting them in resized pics by clicking the start button. Green star on the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see this process take five or 10 seconds, and then these photos will be resized. I hit start, pretty quick, done, it goes away. I'm gonna go ahead and show you in resized photos, there's photos in that folder kind of hanging out. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this file, folder down here, resized photos, and I've got these 15 images kind of sitting here hanging out and they all have a, a resized photo label on them. Okay, that's basically the idea behind how you would quickly select a folder off your computer, run it through Photo Sizer, and then have them in a secondary folder for you. Some inspectors may choose to utilize the original folder as where they're putting them when they're done. Um, some people may find that confusing, so it's way up to you how you choose to navigate it. But in this example here, we are putting, taking them one full, one, taking them from one folder, resizing them, and throwing them in a secondary folder. Okay. And then simplicity-wise, I'm gonna go ahead and close Photo Sizer up. I'm into my inspector case list here. If I wanted to open up my job quickly, the process is exactly the same as. If they weren't, the only difference is I'm not going to get a um, any error messages when I try to add these things. If the photos are too large, you'll not be able to add them, which is the whole reason we have this in place anyhow. So I want to do new, browse my computer. I want to choose resize photo folder, select all the pictures in the range here, up to 20 images in one shot is your chance. Hit open, hit upload. And all of the images that I had resized are now ready for me to go ahead and label and satisfy the photo requirement for this, for this particular job. Um, this would conclude the basic usage of Photosizer video. Thank you for attending and watching the video today. Thank you.